Yo, what's up? This is Cyro Hunter. What's the delete? People out there that just uh, moved into New York City that I don't know. That's what you're looking at. I grew up in this neighborhood, born and raised. I met people that came into the city and I always showed them a good time. Like this one guy named Harif. And um, I took him around skateboarding. That's called the Nolly uh, Hill Flip. You're just cruising the Lower East Side, you know, that's my style. And this is a kid named Quint. He's from New Jersey. Grew up with Quint Cardona. He's coming to the city when he was like 12. This is Teddy. Black kid from New Jersey also. And Quint used to come down, hang out, skateboard. All these kids that you see in this video, I show them around. Because I'm Harold Hunter. I'm a legend. Born and raised. New York City. You know what I'm saying? And these kids right now are coming through. Flip the tricks hot. Even though I'm from New York City, these kids are good when they came in. So I learned from them and they learned from me. And it's cool meeting these kids because I go to their town and I would like to live in New Jersey, Connecticut. I want money. You know, it's peaceful, it's cool. So Quinn gets back up and tries again with a smile. You think a smile is gonna make him land his tricks. Then Jason Dill. This guy was an Osborne. And um they kicked him out of Osborne so now he's um you know, hanging out. Skating. And this is Milton from Brazil. Just pretty good. I met this kid in Brazil five years ago. Now he's in America now. Ty Jordan, oh my god. Uh, sending a uh, uh, sponsoring tape. Saying, you gotta put this kid on zoo. Ty the frat boy. A frat boy skateboarder. But Ty's cool. That's how all the assholes and dick that talk shit. Because people talk shit about me. Of course, talking shit, because I'm drunk. That's it. It's Teddy again. He's trying to sell that boy because he needs money. Skateboarders don't make money. I'm the only one that made it because I've been skateboarding since the 80s. Crip Cardona is rich. You know? A lot of my friends that I grew up with are rich. A lot of my friends are hustling and doing their own thing. You know? Making little money and all that stuff, but he made it for skateboarding. This guy's rich. He just, he's so fat ass, that's why he skates so good. That's why I was skating with him earlier before, and know. Um, Quinn was just like, I'm not ripping it up. But once he saw a black girl with a fat ass, he went crazy. I was like, Quinn, where you going? So he didn't say nothing to me, I just followed him. And he thought the girl was looking at him, and we went all the way back to the block, and the girl was gone. This is Anthony Career. He used to be on New York now, he's not on. I love Anthony Career. He's one of my good friends from Texas. He gets stoked when he comes to New York. He just tears the walls up. Yeah, career. Show him what you got. Yeah, career. Okay. The best skaters. And this kid right here, I forgot his name, but uh, I recognize that kid. Who's that kid? Oh, Ian O'Connor. Oh, shit. That kid. Where that kid been at, yo? Yeah, Ian. Yeah, Ian. Yeah, Ian. Uh, photographer, Ian. Takes photos of skateboarders and stuff like that, and also skates when he's happy. And he rips when he's happy. This is Teddy Ted again. The fat one, no comply. When they no comply. Cruise in Washington Square Park. That's when they film kids. That's when uh, Teddy uh, got beat down in the park when they were filming kids. That was the guy. Mike Wright. This guy's a black Mahamahu from Mahula. He likes to skate with a chewing stick. Mike Wright rips. He rips. Nobody can fuck with Mike. You know what I'm saying? Right there, what you see is nothing. Mike, take the niggas to the handrails. Show them what you got. You know, he's just cruising the street, man. Flat ground, you know, just filming, you know, hanging out, you know, chilling with him again, talking about some music. <laughs> Some bread fruit and some 
Hugo. This Quinn cruising six in the morning, you know. He got stoked. He's got, he said to me, Harold, let's get here. This is a skate park. No, it's not. I go, dude, it's all benches. Like, dude, this is a skate park. So, you know, that's our reef. When um, he had an accident, when he got hit by a Mack truck, and then his hair fell out. So he's pissed off, so we took the train home. And he come again, always hogging up the video. Always does, doesn't get enough. This kid doesn't get enough. Quim, show me what you got. It's Quim's music. Quim wrote the music. Also made the beats. Quim is an artist. So there's a lot of things about Quim you don't know about. He just has fun, man. He's a cruiser. Skateboarding is like... When you stress out about something, like a chick or something, like... It's like, you just go out on the skateboard and just cruise the city. It gets the chick off your mind. At least some of these kids they see today that skateboarding, they got shit on their mind. They have a girl on their mind. This guy Quim has a girl on his mind, and they broke up. Yeah, but in front of him, um, that's chick. That kid rips, you know. When his hair gets long, he rips more. When his hair's short, he's just not cool skating. That spot when they're skating, I, I uh, actually was the first one to grind that in the New York video mixtape. This place right here is uptown. It's a new spot. Quinn was the first one to skate it. And um, he didn't tell anybody about it. He wanted Jake Rock, this is the man. This is the man, Jake Rock. This is another guy that skates for pussy. Like, he ain't trying to like, jump down a fucking 20 step handrail. This kid skates so good, he always fixes his board. He needs a board sponsor. He has a board sponsor, but. They really hook them up, you know. They get one board a month. I like this kid's going right now. Right and this is Quinn and who's that in the background? Who? Oh, uh, Jack Curtin. Oh yeah, this kid's good. He'll flip back side. He'll flip front side. Board slide. Which Ali, look at that, slow motion. Come on, man. Quinn been doing that when it first came out. And then, you know, Quinn jumps over a police plaza, like, no problem. You know? This is the man right here. This is the man cruising on Union Square. This is a place right here. Um, I started skating there when I was 12 because I wanted to get the feeling of a board. Then I learned my ollies there and learned my kickflip. This place right here is called the Brooklyn Banks. Actually, to me, it's called the Manhattan Banks because I'm from Manhattan. People just call it Brooklyn Banks because you know, bridges are over there. But you know me. Represent. NYC Union Square is happening, it's popping, it's crack a lacking. Alright. What's up? All these new kids, man. I'm a legend, see? Oh, this is Kyle Dimmers. This kid right here um, came to New York. And uh, he rips it up. See, all these kids that come to New York, you know, they don't know me. They know me, but I don't know them. You know, they're trying to shine. And they can shine. They just got to keep skating. And um, acting career always, like, shows off. I just saw the skinny model girl. But she was three feet. I told him, models are six feet. So Harry tried to argue with me. I was like, all right, whatever. So acting career went home on that night with her. It's Quim, you know, cruising. These kids are just having fun, you know? Eli Reed from Providence, Rhode Island. Rapper, Zed. This kid is really good. He's a youngster, you know? All you kids out there in the West Coast, watch out for this kid. Eli Reed is no joke. You know what I'm saying? Show them what you got. See, kids like skating as quick as girls do. You know? 
I tell all these guys, let's go to a handle on downtown Battery Park. I'm like, no, man, let's go skate in the square. I go, why? Because this girl's there. I'm like, dude, you're a skateboarder, you're not a fucking pervert. Todd Jordan. They call this guy CB1. This guy is like Matt Dillon. He is also like um, Johnny Depp. He gets all the ladies. All the ladies. He is the man. Todd is a really good skater. Billy Rohan was a pervert. Billy Rohan loves to stick his wiener out. Billy Rohan's eyes are so big that I think one day they're just gonna pop out his head. Actually, Billy's eye did fell. Billy found those picnic tables and brings them everywhere. Billy's from Florida, Gainesville, Florida. I live with Billy in Gainesville, Florida. We had a great time out there. And then I convinced him to move to New York, so now he lives in New York. Um, that's Milton again, you know, come all the way from Brazil. Well, Milton. In Brazil, they have like glass and rocks and dead bodies that's everywhere. Righteous, so, man. You know, Newton's not used to skating like fresh American ledges. Legalize up. Yeah. That's a, that's a this is a sick alley right here. This is Quim Cardona. Look. Ugh. You know, it's, you know what time it is. Jeremy Jordan, that's Todd Jordan's brother. Oh, Toby yelling. This guy took photos of me when I was 15 years old in San Francisco at Barcadero. And um, he's one of the best photographers of all times. This guy's a man. You want to take photos for skateboarding? Call Toby yelling. This guy is the man. He lives in New York City now. He's also a stud now. He's an artist. He's a photographer. He's mellow. He's chill. Good guy. Who's this kid right here? Rough flip. It's like a uh, who? John Newport. John Newport. His dad owns Newports. I don't even know why he's skateboarding. You know what I'm saying? If I was a rich kid, I'd throw. The, I, if, I, if I was a rich kid, if I had a skateboard, I'd throw that shit out the window. Oh, what the heck are you doing, brother? Huh? This is Carl Watson. <laughs> Carl Watson's been around from Frisco. I watched Carl grow up before uh, he had dreads. Carl used to be a real crazy kid. I ain't my little dog. I got a son now. He's chilling. He's the best. This is Stefan Tenasti. This is Stefan Tenasti. These kids got crazy names these days. I can't even pronounce his name right. That's Jason Dill again. He's not in the Osborns. He's actually in the bar. Yeah, he, he said, everybody knows me from the Osborns, so I'm going to shave my head. So he shaved his head. Danny always kills him. Comes to New York, this kid's a stoner. He's a hardcore stoner. Stood out, dude. Kick flip, yeah, dude. You know? What's going on, man? This is cool, man. Right? That's Midtown, everyone. It's Midtown, man. I've been skating that place when I was 15. You know how old I am right now? Talking shit right now? Drunk? I'm 29 years old. And, um. My New Yorkers, like Peter B.C., Ryan Hickey, uh, Mike Hernandez, and like, uh, you know, Keenan Milton, Justin Pierce, uh, my local homies, that's what always with us, like Pookie, you know, like, you know, my man Neil, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know, locals, you know, my local friends, I was always in the scene. Dog friends. You know, it's like when we were young, we didn't even see these kids that you see today. You see this kid jumping on the bed? I didn't see kids like that. I didn't see thousands of skateboarding when I was young. I thought we were the only skateboarders. I mean, in my neighborhood they were like, why you skateboard for? Only white people do that because people in New York you see like white kids skating in California. So I told this girl if I rob a bank, I'll be black. So her brother beat me up. You know, I'm just, I was like, dude, I want to skateboard, man. I just want to skateboard. That's Ed. Ed is number one, too, man. I mean, it feels cool meeting skateboarders from all over the world. When I was young, I didn't meet kids like this. Skateboarders live in New York now. That's thousands of us. We multiply. 
spots from the original New Yorkers, and then we bring in people from the out of town, yeah. and they fall in love with New York, and they want to stay in New York. So basically, I bring these people to New York, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a legend, Harold Hunter, you never die. This is my boy Danny. These kids are from all over, man. And they just love New York. People that live in New York, man, they love you. That's why they came, because they came for you. But they need to, they need to you know, show you know, attitude for these people, because they're not from here. They want to be welcome here, you know? This is America. They welcome everybody, not because New York is like, uh-huh, huh. Uh, Stephen right there, man. Yeah, Stephen, man. It's all right, man. You can do it again, bro. Exactly. Dude, it's Rasmus. What I tell you, Stephen? What I tell you? Yeah, Danny. Ed, what? Ed and Danny ripping it up. Closing down Queens. You know, they're just hanging out. This is West Beth. I skated, I skated when I was a kid. Yeah, Danny, show him what you got. Don't worry, he ain't gonna do nothing. He's an old man. You can do it. There you go, Danny. And that's me again, the asshole Harold Hunter. Yeah, the guy that's always making fun of everybody. Actually, Harold has to do his things on, on, on his butt. Because Harold likes to take shit, you know? And don't wipe his ass. Yeah, Harold's just cruising Soho because there's ladies down there. Those sneakers, man, those suckers are beat up now. You know, I got those sneakers, I was a man, you know? That's my, I like to cruise, you know? Because uh, skateboarding is in my heart. This is Washington Square Park. This is where I um, started skateboarding. And uh, I used to come here after school and skate and meet the ladies and stuff like that. Do like a couple of lines and then sit down for a, for a couple. Sit, do a couple of lines and sit down for like a couple of hours. Lurk, look at the ladies and stuff like that. Find a nice, you know, NYU girl. NYU girl says, hey, you have any ID? Come to my uh, dorm. So I go to a dorm and maybe have fun, you know? So, you know, that's memories. That's memories. I'm getting old. Look like a little fishing man. You know, that's me. I always remember the legendary Harold Hunter. I can't jump down 20 stairs anymore. I made my money. I made lots of money. You know? I made lots of money in my days. <laughs> lots. Oh, buddy. I mean, people love me. People love me. Sammy, I love Sammy. That's my boy. Davey's back there. I see Davey. I see Davey. Okay, Jason Dillon had 100 doing nose drill. Let's see if he has the longest nose drill. He actually was on tour with ES, on the ES tour. So I actually um, tore um, Jason Dill up. You know? Jason Dill is good, but Jason Dill knows I'm the best. You know? Uh, my ass hurts. Girls love my ass. That's why I like to like fake fall and show my ass at the camera. Because girls love my black ass. Because I'm a black nigga. Oh, that is Pancho, you know what I'm saying? The all the way lover in the house, you know what I'm saying? He blazes, you know, awesome skateboarder. Grew up with Pancho. Pancho's also 29, I'm 29. I knew this kid when I was young, and this kid is professional, believe it or not. You know? It takes skills to learn to get there, skateboard. That's Ron Allen. That's my old uh, team manager, you know? Oh, I love that fucking spot. That's in Chelsea Pierce. Yeah, Todd. Todd, Todd. Todd, I know you land that truck. Oh, what the fuck, man? Yeah, Bigfoot. Bigfoot rips. And that's Teddy. Looks good. It was New Year's. These guys are just drinking. They didn't call me up, though. They just drank without me. Which is pretty cool, you know? Because I'm actually annoying, you know? Papalado. He pretty rips. Quiet kid, cool kid. 
rips. And uh, Kenny Reed, I haven't seen this kid in years, man. He's from Poughkeepsie, man. I remember this kid came down to New York City, man. He was a little kid, man. Quim always hogging up everything. You know? Yeah, man. The nice little 50 50. Kicks up over the garbage can. Bust your motherfucking ass. Bust your ass. You know, these kids just get psyched. They get up at 6 in the morning, go skate. They don't even think, they don't even warm up. They say, fuck you, dude. And go for it, man. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It went from like the sun to like. I like that a lot. Milton again. Yeah, he's in Queens hanging out. He's getting bored in New York. He wants to go back to Brazil and eat. And they eat Brazilian food because American food sucks. Yeah, he's just messing around, you know. He's, he's, he's mad that day. He was like, I want to go home. I want to go home. But he had to do a demo. At, he had to do a demo in Queens. And if he wasn't going to do it, then he gets kicked off the team. And that's how skateboarding is, people out there. If you don't do a demo, you will get kicked off the team. So, Quim, so, um, Milton, um, said, fuck it, man. Let me do a little baby tricks. And I said, Milton, you gotta skate hard for these kids. It was 108 degrees. And I said, Milton, if you wanna be a professional skateboarder, you act like one. So, um, Nut said, fuck it, man. In Brazil, we don't have money. So I need this money. So I'm going to skate hard. And he was the only one that we made skate because he's from Brazil. And um, and the American skateboarders are cool. We like white people. He's like a black person. So he has to skate for us when it's real hot, 108 degrees. He could do the demo for us. All, all we have to do is sit in the van. Okay, Miami now. This is the spot. This is the spot. I've been to the spot. It's pretty ghetto. The kids are actually gonna bother the skateboarders, but one day they're gonna try to uh, flex on the skateboarders, you know? Because uh, they be trying to like, you know, talk shit. This is my song. It's why you talk shit. Cause people always talk shit like me. And um, this is Alex. He likes to do 50 50s on everything. Yeah. Yeah. Force Kirby, man. Five rows, everything. He killed it in uh, Berlin, Spain, Barcelona, Madrid. He's a casual skateboarder. He dresses casual when he skates. And he skates casual. He's like a, a casual dude. And if he falls and gets his shirt dirty, he will go crazy. Forrest actually carries a bag full of t-shirts. Fred God. Um. Nah. <laughs> Fred God rips. Nobody can fuck with him. That's my man who that kissed her. She's 11. Watch him and Bang grow up. And the kids still ripping it, you know? Oh, yeah. For that boy slide. Fred God comes back. Skating for Ellie and he just can't fuck with Freddy, boy. You know what I'm saying? Holds it down wherever he goes. Yeah, Freddy. Dumb hot. I know that, Freddy. First Kirby. Manual man. He's like Day Wong, but a casual Day Wong. He's not really tech like Day Wong. He's like casual tech. You know what I'm saying? He's a different type of skateboard. You know, Day Wong has the style. First Kirby has the style. And Virgo goes again. You know, people like to skate, man. If there's no shit to skate. They just try to fucking make, try to skate and like make a cool obstacle. Um, this is uh, I don't know who's that in the beach, upside down, but um, he looks like he's coming off. Um, what's Kirby again with the man? Yeah, you know, yeah, kickflip manual. Dude. This kid is pretty good, man. He knows how to cook. He was actually cooking for me all those eggs. Fred God loved jumping off shit. I remember Fred God jumping off Keenan's roof into a pool. Keenan Milton's pool, yeah. Those are the days. 
Yeah, nose bun slide or what? This kid's killing me. Yeah, Freddy. Out there. Jamal Williams. Whoa, I remember this kid, man. Met this kid in Boston. Actually, I met him. seen him in contests, and then I went to Boston with the Airwalk team. And the Airwalk team left me, and I saw Jamal Williams um, skating. And I was like, what's up, dude? You recognize me? I recognize him. He's like, where's your team? I go, yo, man, they left me. So you stay at my house. Damn, that shit had a fat ass. Air Force, what's going on? I'm taking the suntan. The suntan. Yeah, Freddy. Hey, dude. <laughs> yes, man. It's right there, right there. They let me skateboard also. So, yeah. Well, look at Come at me, man. Yeah, look at this shit, man. That's Miami during the day, you know. Going to the store, you know. You know, just cruising, you know, getting ready for the day, you know. That's what they do every day in Miami, you know. They get up in the morning, they get breakfast, go to an awesome, like, dive restaurant, you know. Get psyched in the morning and stuff like that. Get at a restaurant and just stay cool. My dear, man. This kid is a legend. This kid still skates. I met this kid in San Francisco when I was uh, 15 years old. And, uh, that's crazy. Nigga Joel again. This kid's married to a Brazilian woman. He left skateboarding. He got married a beautiful girl and left skateboarding. You know, because the industry sucks, you know? Like skateboarding is cool. Even if you're not sponsored kids, who gives a rat to ass? So, because if you was sponsored, if you was sponsored, right? You you in the beginning you get treated fair and then they will totally like totally like this you. So, you know, you are not sponsored, you're really good, just skate for fun, dude. Get a job, make that money. Because skateboarding ain't gonna give you a good job. Damn, it's got a fat ass boy. Put my face in that. Um yeah, that was on Freddy God, doing 5 0 and 50 50. Freddy God doesn't hesitate, he just goes for it. You know, I forgot this kid's name. Very familiar kid, though. Oh, very familiar kid. I see, I'm getting old. I'm like, don't even know what's going on anymore. Forrest Kirby, that's gotta be Forrest. Oh, no, that's not Forrest. That's Alex Renacci. And this is Forrest again, you know. This guy's just lucky. Right now it's like really cold in New York, snowy, freezing, and I'm sitting here talking shit. These kids are skateboarding in Miami, having a great time. And after that, they skate, they're gonna go to the beach and hang out and check out women. And then after they do that, they're gonna meet the women and go to a cool bar. You know? While we stuck over in the cold, stressed out with the cold. You know? Yeah, man. These guys just don't stop skating. Yeah, man. Rip it up, dude. Don't give up. Yeah. Harif Guzman. Guzman. Harif Guzman. The one and only Guzman. He is a Guzman. And, uh, you know, skaters, man. Keep skating. Um, don't one up each other because you will lose. If you try to one up a, a pro when he comes down. And you think you're the shit. You're never going to make it. Because they're going to remember your face. You know what I'm saying? You got to kiss ass and get, a, get in the industry. You know what I'm saying? You got to suck dick. Next time. <laughs> <laughs>